it's Clarissa and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I got um, some new products that I want to try and kind of show you guys the outcome of them. I have this Tint My Brow Brow Tinting Gel. Um, my best friend Natalie uses it all the time and I kind of wanted to try it, so I got this. It's from Etude House. I just got it on Amazon. I believe it's a Korean company. I'm going to try this out and I also got, I don't have it right now, but I got a lash and brow tint. So I got the black color, so I'm going to try that one out this time, but I'm not going to dye my brows because they're not very light. That's why I'm going to be using the brow tint for my brows but then I'm going to be using the lash tint to do my lashes because my lashes are a little bit lighter than they could be so I'm going to show you guys all those things so for the brow gel I already have my brows done from last night so I'm going to wipe off my brows and then I'm going to put this on and they say to leave it on for two hours so I'm going to do that leave it on for two hours and I'll show you guys obviously what it looks like at the end. People will say for it to last longer, you leave it on for more hours, like six to eight, but because I've never used this before, and I don't know how dark this is gonna turn out and just how good or bad it's gonna turn out. I'm just gonna stick with doing two hours for now, and if I need to like scrub my brows off afterwards, it looks terrible, I can do that. And then the tint for my lashes is only like 15 minutes or something, not even, like, I think it's like five. I don't even know how long it is, but it's a lot shorter. So that one I'm gonna do after I have my brows done, and that one I'll do one at a time so you guys can kind of see the difference. All right, so I'm a little closer for y'all so you can kind of see a little bit more of my brows. On the directions, it says, after trimming the eyebrows without applying skincare product or makeup, apply, apply a liberal amount according to the desired shape of the eyebrow. Dry for at least two hours for stronger coloration or apply before going to bed at night and remove the next morning. After drying completely, remove slowly starting from the head of the eyebrow. Do not remove the pack forcibly for it may pull out the eyebrows. Do not use a cleansing product or apply force in the eyebrow area within 24 hours of using the product. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. This looks really freaking dark, so let's hope this isn't. They have like the brush thingy in here, but I'm gonna use like an eyebrow brush to actually shape it, but I'm gonna like kind of plop it on in the middle with the thick one that they give you. The color that I got is brown. I didn't know if I should get like light brown or dark brown, so I went with the regular brown. All right. As y'all know, I skip my brows in most of my videos because I get all in the mirror to do it. So I'm gonna have to do that for this because I don't wanna mess it up because I'm staining them. I'm gonna move into the mirror and do the rest of them. My eyebrows turn out terrible. I'll just have to change the title to fail. I'm gonna put it on thicker because you like peel it off. So I wanna make sure it's thick enough that I can actually peel it off. All right, now we wait two hours. I'll be back. Okay, so it's technically been two and a half hours because at the two hour mark, they weren't quite dry yet. And then I tried to take off right here because I do like kind of ombre eyebrows. So I'm hoping that helps. So I'm gonna try to take them off now. Remove starting from the head of the eyebrow. That came off really easy. I thought I was gonna pull my hairs off. I did lose, there's one eyebrow hair in there. Those actually look pretty good. <laughs> so it's supposed to stay for a few days, I think. Um, they say that it depends on how long you leave it on for, so this is probably only gonna last me a few days. But you're not supposed to get them wet for 24 hours, so I'm not gonna get them wet for 24 hours, and then I'm pretty sure it'll fade and then like probably slowly fade away. But this honestly looks really good, and if I can save myself a little bit of time, because I'd probably still do my eyebrows up in this area and like sort of fix the bottom where I usually line them. But now I'm gonna go ahead and do the lash one. So this one's not as complicated because this is only gonna be a few minutes. So I'm gonna do one side and then I'll do the other side. It's called Thousand Hour Enhanced Beauty. The box looks like this, also from Amazon. It's a lash and brow dye kit. It comes with applicator wand, mixing cup, color cream and developer liquid and then these little eye protecting thingies that you put underneath so that you only get the dye on your actual lashes so if you're gonna do this for your brows if you have like light um hairs on your brows and you're dyeing them for that you are supposed to use vaseline like around the area so you don't get the dye there also on the little pad thingies that i'm gonna put underneath my eye kind of like if you're getting eyelash extensions they're like not sticky so to get them to stay on that you they say to use vaseline the vaseline i got has cocoa butter in it so it smells nice put in the cream and the developer in here and you like mix it around i just use like 
the end of this thing to mix it around and then put it on. So I'm gonna mix it. So when you're mixing it, it doesn't really mix that well because it's like a cream and then like a water. So like you have to kind of like, I'm like trying to like poke it and break it up. Mix it around. So you have to be very careful not to get it in your eye. Now we wait. Okay, so this is probably not the most flattering angle, but I want you guys to be able to kind of see. So I'm gonna wipe it off now. You just kind of use, it says a wet cotton bud, but I'm just gonna use these like cotton thingies that I have. Can you see the difference between the two eyes? I'm gonna curl both lashes so you can kind of see even more because I feel like my lashes are very straight. When they're curled, you can kind of see a little bit more of the difference. That I feel like I'm not the best example of this because I don't have very long eyelashes, but for someone who does have like very long eyelashes and they're like blonde or like on mine, it's like the ends of them are a little bit lighter than the rest of them, then this makes a huge difference, especially if you have lighter hair and you're like more fair skinned and you use mascara anyway. This is really cool because it's supposed to last for a while. My eyelashes are very thin, they're straight, I don't have that many, so you can't tell as much. Well, this is it for all of that. I recurled my lashes like, better this time, but you can still kind of barely see it. It's just like my lashes are not a good example of this product. I can see a difference. I don't know if you guys actually can. I kind of wanted just to show you guys these new products that I found, see how they were working, sort of my first impression. If you're trying to shorten your makeup routine in the morning and you'd like to have your brows done or you don't want to worry about putting on mascara, these are some cool products to try. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that I am so, so close to 100 subscribers, so once I do hit 100 subscribers, I had a plan to do a Q&A video slash about me. That is going to be coming once I hit 100 subscribers. If you guys have any questions for me about my channel, about my life, about anything at all, feel free to either comment them down below, email me, text me, reach out to me on Instagram, reach out to me on Twitter, whatever it is, let me know and I will be sure to answer those in my video. With that, I hope you all enjoyed this. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in my next video.